Sastravites. Today's video is super important, especially if you are a Sastra student or just joined the university. We are breaking down the rules. You need to know to pass a course, write exams and avoid year loss. Let's get started. So you should maintain at least 80% minimum attendance to write your end semester examinations. Anything below that you will face consequences. Attendance between 70 to 75%. You can still write the exam, but only if you pay the condonation fee. And this can be only done twice in your entire time of Sastra. So be careful. Attendance between 70 to 75. You will need to pay a condonation fee plus a caution deposit. You are allowed only once for this across your entire program. If your attendance is less than 70%, you cannot write the exam. You will have to register for the course again next year and you lost an entire year. Each course is for 100 marks. So out of 100 marks for your CIS that is mid examinations, they will take 50 marks and for your end semester examinations, they will take 50 marks. 50 marks is your internal examinations and 50 marks is your end semester examinations. So this is the weightage for first, second and third semesters best two will be considered out of three they will conduct three examinations in that best two will be considered so this will be the weightage for 40 percentage and your assignment seminar and quiz etc will be taken for 10 percentage that is 50 percentage is your theory course for practical courses experimentation work and observations it is for 40 percent weightage and for viva voice it is 10 percent so it will be 50 totally 100 percentage you will be having so for CIA for your first semester you will have eight subjects for group A and seven subjects for group B so evaluation of the academic performance and promotion how they will evaluate so let us see so if your marks are greater than or equal to 91 percentage you will score S grade that is 10 points and your performance is outstanding if you score between 86 percentage to 90 percentage, you will score A plus grade that is excellent. 75 percent to 85 percent, you will get A grade that is very good. And these are the remaining percentage you want to score. If your mark is less than 50 percentage, you will score F grade that is fail in the examination. So if you want to pass, you want to get 50 percentage above to 54 percentage so that you will get D grade. So if you are absent, so you, your grade will be exposure. So here we are displaying how CGPA will be calculated. Check this calculation. So like this, the CGPA will be calculated and your SGPA will be calculated in this way. This is, SG, uh, this is SGPA and this is CGPA. They will be calculated according to these formulas. So we will be discussing in our next videos regarding the credits for group A and group B. We will discuss the credits separately. Hope this clears up the academic rules at Sastra. If you found this helpful, smash the like button and share it with your batchmates. And if you would like to support the channel, consider joining as a member or sending a super thank. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe for more information.